clip from. Okay, got David out here. It's November something. It's a Sunday. Uh, it's about uh, 3.40. Okay, we're going to go up here and see how cold it is. Headgear on, and it's hard to hear. Crank the volume up a little bit. See if I can hear it. There we go. I can hear it. Hopefully, uh, recording is going okay. I'm just going to kind of circle around here a couple times. Uh, I've got to do exhaust, a uh, rebuilt exhaust on, and uh, we just uh, make sure it's not going to come blowing apart. Sounds real good. Running nice and quiet. It's uh, 51 degrees on the ground, I believe. Up here, it's pretty cold right now, but uh, not too bad. Hands are getting a little cold. And there goes David, right to the left of me. A little bumpy over this ridge. It's a pretty good lift. So we're about 400 feet, about 24 miles an hour. Wind is off on the side of us. It's a light breeze, steady breeze. We're going to follow the river. We're going to get over to the other side and of the city here, or the town, For you guys that live in cities, you're probably going like, that's not a city. Been flying for about five minutes, and we're about 600 feet, 567. It's a little cold up here. I think uh, David has a thermometer on his uh, trike. Uh, he'll probably tell me what, what it was when I get back down, but yeah, it's uh, not bad. Hands are cold, but... Not too bad. David's right below me. Yeah, the trees are uh, definitely uh, lost most of their leaves. Here's a few with some color in them. Still have leaves, but not too much. About 530 feet. The old pumpkin patch down there has been picked over quite a bit. Halloween is over. See Christmas decorations out there. See David above me there in the mirror. There he is right there. About in the middle of my mirror there. Doing about 30 miles an hour going with the wind and a little light breeze. Not as pretty as it was a couple of weeks ago with the leaves and and everything. Everything's uh, just kind of a, a brown, messy look right now. We've had some rain, so the river is up a little bit. Not bad. Good little rocking over here. Been flying for about 12 minutes. Been about 34 miles an hour. The other day I was flying, and uh, after I got down, uh, fly sky high had a uh, has a uh, tells you what your fastest speed was. So it's kind of interesting. My fastest speed was uh, I think 78 miles an hour, which uh, we know that's not true. There goes the sheriff's department. He's on a 
a mission. He's got everything flashing and heading down the road. This truck pulled over to watch us. We'll just fly over by him. And, you know, it, I wonder if I go up a couple hundred feet or higher, if uh, there's like an inversion and it's like 75 degrees up there. Somebody's burning coal. Now there comes another uh, ambulance or highway patrol or emergency vehicle coming down the road. Looks like the KOA campground is pretty much uh, evacuated. That place, uh, people are probably done for the, for the year on camping out in the cold. It's about uh, 3.56, and we've been flying for about 15 minutes. David and I are out here. We're heading over here by Walmart, Burger King. There's the uh, Coshocton Airport over here, so i got to kind of keep an eye out for uh, helicopters. They've got the uh, medevac flight or the emergency flight uh, flies out of here. So uh, there's a helicopter that goes in and out of here. And, you know, the Burger King smoke cranking up that charbroil burger smell. Oh, there he is. He's slow and over to the right. Okay, we've been flying for about 20 minutes. Got to head back into the wind. And, uh, I don't know, uh, see what kind of speed, doing about 22. David has about an hour, a little over an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Uh, want to make sure that, uh, get back with him. It's a little bit after 4 o'clock. I'm about 225 feet above. And I'm going to climb up a little bit and see if it's any warmer above or colder. When it gets cold like this or cooler, uh, your motor runs or your engine runs a little bit different and the lift uh, changes, so you get a lot more lift. And the uh, trims are about uh, uh, close to three. And uh, so, uh, we're not really penetrating real good, but uh, that's not a problem. We're in no real big hurry. We're just uh, cruising back. So about 425 feet. The space mask that I have on uh, really works well. Uh, when I'm on the ground, uh, my glasses fog up, but as soon as I fire the, uh, the engine up, the uh, air moving by and through my glasses uh, removes the fog. So. And up here, uh, when I breathe pretty hard, uh, I'll get a little bit of fog, but it goes away real quick. Pretty smooth out here, not bad at all. November, this is the latest I've ever flown. Uh, this may be the coldest that I've flown in. I know one other time I flew and it was really cold, but. Uh, Other than I wish to have some uh, warmer gloves, I don't like the thick gloves because they're hard to uh, hit the kill button and it's hard to uh, just basically move around. Uh, so uh, these thin cheap ones, I was thinking about putting some uh, neoprene or the uh, cheap like doctor gloves on, on underneath just to keep the wind off and uh, I might do that uh, if I fly again in the cold 
I do have a pair of insulated or, or uh, heated uh, liners, but uh, those uh, really don't work that well. So we're doing about uh, 20 miles an hour. We're about five miles away from the runway, about 750 feet. I don't think it's any warmer up here. It might be colder, but my fingers are so numb and uh, I, I can't tell the difference. My legs are a little, uh, starting to get a little cold, but not too bad. Toes aren't bad. About 830 feet. Pretty smooth up here. Doing about 21 miles an hour. 4.6 miles away. I'm going to ease off the throttle a little bit and uh, drop down. So a lot of people uh, ask questions about flying and uh, what it's like and so forth. And one misconception that uh, a lot of people have or they think uh, differently about is a speed. And uh, if you give it more throttle, do you go faster? Well, no, you just climb. You'll either climb or you'll descend, uh, depending on you know, you know, if you give it uh, gas or if you let off. Uh, the wing is basically where your speed comes from and, and uh, going slow and setting the trims on it to uh, give you a lift and, or, or speed and so forth. But uh, giving it throttle, uh, all that basically does is just uh, give you a lift. Now, if you let the th trims all the way out, you have to give it more throttle to keep it in the air because you lose your lift, but you get more speed. But that happens only because of the wing and lets the trims out and not because of the, the throttle. I hope I said that right. So we've been flying for about 30 minutes, about 725 feet in the air, following the railroad track. And off to the right is the runway, about three and a half miles and uh, it's just getting a little cold and my fingers are starting to uh, get a little cold but uh, we're good we're good anytime you can get out enjoy a little bit of this sky uh, it's definitely enjoyable 20 miles an hour I wonder what uh, the highest speed will be reported on this app today. I don't know, it was a few weeks ago I was uh, talking about how uh, Fly Sky High uh, acted a little funny with my new uh, iPhone 11 that I had. Uh, and uh, I, I saw where they reported there were some issues with the iOS and Apple, so they had to make some changes and updates. There's the runway off to the right. About 5,000 RPM, 23 miles an hour, heading right into the wind now. And I was sitting at home and uh, doing some work. I got a text from David, and David said, hey, you want to go flying? Uh, and he said, hey, Sunday looks like a nice day. It's going to be a little cold, but winds look good. And I'd already pretty much put everything away for the year. I took my wing and everything and took it up to the house and storing it in the house and disconnected my trailer from my truck and took everything out, all my jackets, everything. I was pretty much put away. And uh, I took a look at the weather and I said, oh my gosh, look at that. That's going to be nice. So Pro 7 has been filming for about 43 minutes. So it usually will go for about an hour and then conk out unless I hook up an extended battery to it. And uh, 
I didn't think I'd need that today. I figured I'd get cold and probably not, could not make a complete one hour flight. So I was right. Go down here and take a look at this flag. See which way the flag is blowing, and there's a windsock down here over by this other barn. And I'm sure it's still coming at me here. But uh, one good thing about a trike is you can pretty much land with the wind or into the wind. And, and I would land into it, but uh, there's a whole bunch of trees and bushes on this side. So it makes it hard. And plus a power line that you got to come over. So I'd rather not play around with those power lines and bushes and just land towards the truck. Makes it easier to put things away too. Been flying for about 45 minutes, and uh, it's not too bad out here. It's, uh, it's probably a little uh, warmer towards the ground actually. There's a windsock on top of that barn right straight ahead. I don't know if you can see it on the camera that we're flying. Uh, just towards it, but not right into the wind. Now we're kind of into the wind. Somebody asked me, uh, how do I, or what do I fly my trims at? Well, it depends. Uh, takeoff is usually at three, uh, sometimes at six. Three if there's no wind, and six is if there's wind. Uh, but normally just flying with David, I'll fly around with a three. If I fly with Christian, I might go out to six. He's a little faster. So... Just depends on who I fly with. If I fly with someone a little faster, I'll let the trims out a little bit. All right, ease off the throttle a little bit, pull a little bit of brake, just get a feel where the brake's at. Turn a little bit to the right here. Just touch it down, and we'll kill it. Okay, it dropped the wing right, right there. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> I'm cold. Whoo, that was fun, but man, is that cold. Ugh, this old man ain't used to this. 